Did you rush out and buy a 7900 XTX when they came out like I did? Did you end up with a maybe less desirable model in the eyes of the water block and custom liquid cool industry like I did? So if you did what I did, you might have ended up with the MSI 7900 XTX Trio 24 gigabyte gaming card, which is not a bad card. I haven't had any issues. It's right there actually currently running in that computer. I game on it all the time. The problem I'm having is when I look to the big guys, well, you can't really look to EK anymore. Uh, but when you look to Alpha, they didn't have anything anyways, but also when you look to Alpha Cool, I even emailed Alpha Cool. I emailed several people about it. And honestly, I was about to give up because the only thing I found, which is, uh, I'm gonna roll my eyes when I say it was on AliExpress, but what we got here today is Big Sky's water block for custom liquid cooling specifically for this card. So sit back and we'll get into it a little bit further. So let's take a look at what we got inside of here. Looks like we got some thermal pads. Hmm. Looks like we've got a operator's manual, but um, is there English? Oh yeah, there's some English in here. The QR, the scan. It's probably gonna be for installation and stuff. Big Sky, do it yourself. Quality pass. Those look like uh, plugs and necessary hardware, including a little extension for your uh, RGB on there, it looks like. Okay, so this is the back plate, which my only concern with this is on the other one, there's a cutout or a provision here so that it um, allows heat to dissipate. It looks like they're gonna be kind of pushing on this area, so not too fond of that, but some of the higher end water blocks as well do have that cutout there, so that may be an issue but as you can see this one says big sky am5 7900 xdx trio xbe so this is specific to the card that i have okay there's your seal Okay, so this looks like nickel plated copper. It's relatively heavy. So this is just the one side. So I would probably try not to touch this too much. So those plugs that come with are for either side, depending on what orientation you do. Um, so generally it would go in like this if you're doing a regular uh, graphics card uh, horizontally, or you can go vertically and install it like this with uh, this pretty part facing out. So here's a look at it. Hopefully you can see that fairly well. Maybe holding it upside down actually. Oh, and it just touched the bottom. Okay, so this one actually indicates an in and an outflow. So you want an inflow, outflow. Um, this is a pretty substantial piece of, I'm assuming, maybe acrylic. Might be plexiglass, I'm not exactly sure. So on the bottom it actually says what it's for. And as you can see, there's a little, hopefully you can see, yeah, you can see it there. There's little knockouts here. And I believe that might be where the thermal pads go. I'll have to look at the instructions. I believe that anything that's elevated and anything that's slotted, that's where those go. But again, this is just an unboxing. I will do a video where we put this on the card and install it in the computer as part of the uh, custom loop. What I did notice on Big Sky or whatever they call themselves, um, on their AliExpress website, you can order this piece in black with a little LCD screen on it. I think the only way you'd really do that is if you were re using the regular orientation for the graphics card and not running it vertical because you probably wouldn't even be able to see it in the vertical orientation. But anyways, so this, We'll go like oh yeah right this will go like this and it will sandwich my graphics card in between okay. 
So if you have an MSI 7900 XTX Trio, this is what you can have for your liquid custom cooling loop. Well, that's what I got in uh, a continuing series of videos towards liquid cooling this bad boy with a custom liquid cool loop. Um, hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, guys, be kind to each other, and I'll see every one of you in the next video.